everybody, welcome back. Frosty Gaming here with another Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about collisions. Now, in my last video, I talked about colliders and the different types of colliders and what they do. Today I'm going to be talking about collisions and interactions between colliders. I've written this collision script and I'm going to put a download in the video description so you can actually use it and mess around with it and try to understand collisions better. I have set up this little mock scene so that I can show you a visual representation of what's going on with the script. So as you can see here we've got our player. The player has this collision script on it. Environmental objects or these platforms that have been tagged as such have a box collider and it, they are not triggers. Now this is important. These have colliders on them and they're not triggers. It's very important not to have this clicked or the collisions will not happen. So if we just play the scene right away, you can see that it hits the platform, rolls down, hits another platform, and then rolls down that one. And then it'll just fall off the screen. So if we go into our console, there's a bunch of stuff that's been printed out during that, and I'm going to show exactly what that means. Now, let's just go ahead and open collisions in Visual Studio, and you can see this is very heavily commented, but I'm going to explain exactly what each part of this does. So we've got our, our collisions script here, and there's some documentation stuff in the script as well. And we've got three main functions, on collision enter, on collision stay, and on collision exit. And each of these does a different thing. On collision enter, is called when the collider or rigid body touches another collider or rigid body and that's when it touches it right when it hits it this is called once on collision stay is called every frame that was a typo this is called every frame this collider or rigid body is touching another collider or rigid body so when it hits it it does the enter and then while it's on it while it's still touching it every frame it's still touching it on collision stay is called and then below it we have on collision exit and that's called when a collision stops happening so on collision enter is when it hits on collision stay is as long as it every frame is staying on that collider and then the exit is when it stops what I have happening right now is I can actually get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of this alright so I have this saying if we hit an environmental object then it's gonna say touched an environmental object for every frame that it's touching the environmental object, print out touching an environmental object, and for when it exits the collision with an environmental object, say exited collision with environmental object. So that's pretty simple. So we can see this happen if we press play. Okay, so we just hit, and there's several frames that I missed there, but it initially touched the environmental object and then kept touching it through on collision enter is this one and on collision stay are all the rest now if we keep going you can see that we've got like 96 frames that we've been on there already and then boom as soon as it stops hitting that exited collision with environmental object and then as soon as it touches it again touched an environmental object. So on collision exit, on collision enter, and on collision stay. So if we go back to our script, I can kind of explain some of the more difficult things. This parameter that these methods take, these functions take, is a, of type collision, and you can name it whatever you want. I name it collider just as a generic name, and then I access that. So this is pretty much what you're coming into contact with. So this script is on the player and when it hits something else, that something else is this collision collider. This collider. That is the thing that you're hitting. So then we go in here and our, in our if statement we say collider.gameObject.tag so we're getting the tag of this object that we hit and if it equals environmental object then we do this and that's why it's printing it out and that's the same for all of these. And what we can do actually we can do more than just print out stuff, right? We can actually destroy it. So I can actually show you more visually how these all work. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment this destroy collider.game object. 
And if we go back to the scene, press play, boom, boom. As soon as it hits those platforms, it destroys them. So that you can kind of see how on collision enter is working. On collision stay, I'm going to do the same thing. Now when we press play, looks like it's pretty much the same thing is happening, right? Well, what's actually happening is it's destroying the platforms the frame after it hits them. So we can't really tell just with the human eye the difference between one frame and another. That's the point of frames. So it should look exactly the same. So then if we go to on collision exit, this is going to look a lot different. Oh, and we can play the scene. Alright, so it's fine, fine, fine. And then as soon as we stop touching it, as soon as we exit that collision, it destroys the platform. Alright. So this is just a really cool way of uh, visually seeing how collisions are done in Unity. So I've showed you the three methods on collision enter which is when you first hit it, on collision stay which is every frame that you're still touching that and then on collision exit which is after you stop touching it. I hope you understand collisions a bit better now and uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.